Breaking news, Kardashian curse strikes again. PSG just lost their 35 game unbeaten record where Kim Kardashian came along with her son to cheer for the team. And many fans now accuse Kim K for bringing the Kardashian curse to Paris. Who in the family believes in the Kardashian curse? Yes. Scott, do you feel like you have a Kardashian curse? They're everywhere on TV, on social media and in the papers. The Kardashian, Jenna clan are some of the most famous people in the world who are famous for being famous. But with fame and fortune comes a lot of controversy and one such controversy is that the Kardashian family is cursed. While all the women in their family enjoy wealth and privileges one can only dream of, for the men it's a completely different story. This is where the Kardashian curse comes to play. What is the Kardashian curse? The legend goes that many moons ago in a quaint little town in Armenia, a woman made a deal with four witches. A deal to sacrifice her soul in exchange for all the women in her bloodline to always have fame, fortune and beauty. While the men in their life succumb to a curse. This woman is allegedly the great great grandmother of the Kardashians. And what actually happens in this curse? The Kardashian curse is every male figure that comes and dates the Kardashian, their life kind of just goes downhill after. While some netizens call this absolute mumbo jumbo, others strongly believe that the Kardashians are where careers go to die. And who better to hear about it from than Lord Disick? In an episode on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Scott Disick decided to take matters into his own hands and called in a medium. And the medium seemed pretty convinced that there is indeed a curse. I would probably say you do have a curse. Scott was so serious about lifting the curse that he even considered setting a rooster free. I guess I'll try anything. And there's more. Kanye West, the voice of a generation not even one year after his divorce with Kim Kardashian, and now the entire world seemingly hates him. Scott Disick, once a successful businessman, but after his fallout with Courtney, he is now an alcoholic. Lamar Odom, an NBA player, almost died of an overdose during his marriage to Khloe Kardashian. Travis Scott, once a record-breaking rap star, is now in the dumps after the Astro World incident where many fans lost their lives. And Pete Davidson, the SNL star, is now apparently in trauma therapy after his breakup with Kim Kardashian. All the men were talented, successful, and in the golden ages of their careers, but inevitably fell from grace after their relationships with the Kardashian clan. And surprise, surprise, the Kardashians, on the other hand, are not exactly on the same page about this theory. Kylie Jenner in a GQ interview said her family has achieved a certain level of fame and not everyone can handle it. Spoken like a true Kardashian. Say Bible. 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 And then there's this interview. Andy Cohen asks some tough questions on a one-on-one -on -one chat with the entire clan when he asks the question about this alleged curse. The Kardashians didn't hold back. Who in the family believes in the Kardashian curse? What I don't like about the narrative is that the blame is on us. Like, I think that they need to put, the, like, the, the men need to take that responsibility. You Travis also have two great. NBA championships, a Super Bowl, what else? I mean, all these things well, yeah, that have, of course, you go down the factual, down the factual successes of all the men. Scott, yeah. do you feel like you have a Kardashian curse? From Kim's infamous sex tape to Chloe's rocky relationship with Tristan Thompson, the family has been through their fair share of drama. But is the Kardashian family really cursed? Or is it just the price of fame? Love exploring the unknown? Subscribe to our channel for more chilling and mind-bending theories.